beautiful people welcome back to another Emma's episode so anyway today I clearly didn't have a plan for this but I am thinking of doing a bronzy look because a it's been pretty cold here in Nairobi Kenya and we just want once in a while we just want to look bronze like the Sun has hit us with all this highlight going on but it's freezing cold anyway I was I was saying this product I came across it uh, if you've watched the episode I did about Du Bois, Du Bois, Du Bois, yes, it's Du Bois, Du Bois, whatever. And I came across this product. It's an eyebrow uh, tattoo product, and it's I fell in love with it. It's like a hundred bob. It is. It's just a very reasonable product. Yeah. So it's not one of the counterfeit uh, products that you'll get there. So what I want to do is this is my mark. Um, uh, angled brush. I just want to draw in my my brows. As you can tell, they're quite not there. I over tweezed uh, my brows when I was about 16 years old, and they refuse to grow back. I usually take way longer to do my brows, not just on myself but also on clients. It's I'm not a hundred percent, and I'm not going to lie to you, eh? Uh uh. Then. And if you guys haven't had a look at my eyebrow tutorial, it's right here. Click on it, have a look, like, share, throw in a comment. If they don't look alike, well, I guess they're just cousins and not sisters. Okay, so we have that. Um, I have this trick every time I use a... Uh, one of my brushes, I put it in one particular to um, Remember, I did this on Instagram. Do you guys follow me on Instagram? If not, what are you doing with your lives? Some of my lines are usually never straight or accurate enough, and that's because of my eyesight problem. I don't know if, I, I guess you guys know I put on glasses, so um, even when I do my makeup, it has to be this close, right? Because my eyesight is really bad, and I know it's really bad for the camera because all you see is like a mirror right in front of you and it's stopping you guys from seeing the nitty gritties. What I'm going to do is moisturize my face and I moisturize my face these days with this product called Quenna. And there we go. It's been really good for my skin, especially now that it's extremely cold. My skin was a bit, uh, it was, it was dry, dry in a really bad way. Okay, do this as I'm doing my makeup. This is like a sleeping mask. I usually use it before I go to bed, but also I learned when using it during my skincare routine, it's amazing. I just apply it as I'm doing my makeup and then wipe it off. So, here we go. Looks like that. So I'm just gonna take a bit and just dab it on the lid. Let me start off my shadow, right? So I want this sunsetish kind of look. So I'm going to do a lot of orange and bronze going on right there. So I have this orange lipstick that I'm gonna apply as my eye primer. Gosh, there we go. Oh yeah, yeah. all right. blending brush I was testing some colors just before this anyway uh, I'm going in with this Iman eyeshadow it's called hot chocolate yeah so it has this it's it's got like two shades so I'm going in with the darker shade this one all right for my crease area just dab a bit of that and then just Smoke out here just to deepen that. So then I'm going to go in with this Benefit um, highlighter, okay, in the shade Dist, okay. Up 
Okay. Let the games begin. Okay, so I'm going in with my Maybelline mousse. Right? The badness with this foundation is you can really you have to be extremely careful it just doesn't fall on your clothes or something, you know. But it has a nice velvety look. It's a frauden. No, it's not a frauden. Now, the thing is, when we are checking out our foundation, we usually, we usually check with our neck or down here. So, we never consider the void. You know why? Because the sun keeps on eating the void. You have to go for a darker foundation. <laughs> so this is by Blanco Pa, and I'm going to put it all around the forehead. Are we clear, class? Oh yeah. Some foundation has gone on me. She's so What has happened? Oh. Yes, I am those Kenyans. It has to end. It will not end because the pump. Is it supposed to be like this though? Yeah, I think so. Because it. Does it move around? No? This in Kwanzaa is broken. Ah. Uh, it broke. Ah. It, oh, anyway, I think I have enough. Alright. So here goes. Just put there, then contour the face. Okay. So when when you're just trying to blend that, just uh, blend it towards the hairline. Okay. Don't worry about the 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 the, the whatever the light and the darkness. You're seriously going to blend that out. Okay. Then you take another brush, preferably one that is kabuki. Okay. I have this uh, oval, oval like brushes uh, that I'm going to use. And just blend it in like that. So to get rid of the harsh lines between the the light and the dark. Okay. So we have that. Um. I really, really don't like the way my eyeshadow looks, but I'm going for something different. Remember I had put a mask on my lips, so it's time for me to remove that, okay? So we're going to remove that, and on top as well, I move everything, okay? Once the mask is ready, uh, I'm going in with the bum and I'm going with the same product, uh, not the same, as in the same brand, Quena. Okay, they have a lip balm, but one of their key, one of their key ingredients is um, peppermint. And also one thing that I discovered uh, like a few days ago is it's so important to check the ingredients because I nearly gave someone who was allergic to nuts and this has, it had a nut, it had a nut. Almond, yeah, it has almond oil, so yes, just be careful, you don't just read the ingredients. So, yeah, I love this lip balm because of the peppermint. I got the bronzer, and I'm gonna chop that up with the Mina uh, eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump that. bronzer on it just to reduce that pinkish look I, I didn't like that pinkish look so okay this eyeshadow is in the number one of four okay did you get that 
Awesome. So I'm just gonna go in with that and then just, just get a small little brushy thingy and just dot that. Placing it on the inner, my inner lip. Just uh, blend that out. So we have like a slight ombre look. So More of my bronzer and just highlight under my brow. Just a bit, just on the curve. Okay. 